Feel the love in this week's Bleach. I love you, dude. I love you, bro, Montana. I love you, Holmes. I love you, Brosif Glebels. Bleach Chapter 594, Rub Dolls, picks up with Mayuri stabbing Zombie Gaia and releasing his Zompocto in the process. He says he's actually a little sad he's using such a drug on someone that can't resist, but he remains optimistic about it. Hey, maybe something nice will happen. Why the fuck would anything nice ever happen? Hitsugaya begs him to stop, but Mayuri says that his resistance becomes a form of consolation to him as he injects him with a needle. Just a little prick. The injection shrouds Hitsugaya in some black mass as he screams in agony. <laughs> Three feet then appear as, aww, uh, you gotta be kidding me. There's no emoticon for what I'm feeling. Mayuri puts it best as seeing these three zombified, it's gotten to the point where it's no longer funny and they're just a distraction. Just stay out of my way. You'll pay. He has no intentions of dealing with them himself, so he sixes a wrong car on them. Surprise, cockpigs! So that group begins to brawl as Mayuri confirms that no one is going to get in the way of his experiment. All the while, Hitsugaya continues to scream in agony. What the hell is wrong with you people? We switch gears to Byakuya, who's already defeated Nanana, Candace, and Commissioner Gordon. Well, that just sort of happened to me. I mean, I didn't even participate in that. Lolito and Meninez are the only two left, as they can't believe they're dealing with the same person who was taken out by Asnot. Lolly wonders where Pepe is, but Meninez doesn't care because she thinks he's totally disgusting. Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Hisagi then shows up and says he's already beaten one. Another off-screen defeat? Ah, uh, horse shit! He takes notice at how Byakuya beat three guys in the same time it took him to beat one. Let me say something to you as a friend. You suck. Suddenly, Byakuya strikes Hisagi. Confused, he asks what the hell is wrong with him. That's my line. That's what I said to him. Byakuya asks why he came at him with his blade, and he assumes he's either under someone's control or he's an imposter. Hisagi argues that none of it is true, but Lolito and Menina seem to know what's going on. And here we go. Hisagi finally admits that he really wanted to do it for Pepe's sake. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Pan over to Pepe, who's chuckling to himself, and starts talking about splitting their heart and making them his, revealing his letter L for love. For some reason, he takes aim at Lolito, but instead hits Meninez with a heart, making her fall in love with him. Drop dead, we're in love. Her arm then becomes grotesquely strong, and she punches Lolito. Boo, you whore. Pepe then gets all dramatic and says they don't need to fight over him because he'll never belong to just one person. Oh, they're all gross. I'm keeping the roses. Interesting chapter, to say the least. Mayuri's new drug is taking its effect on Hitsugaya, but I'm not sure exactly what it's doing to him besides creating an immense amount of pain. We saw he was covered in in a black shade, but it was interrupted by Zombie Rose, Kensai, and Rangiku. It was sort of a surprise, but I figured if there were more zombies on the way, it would be those three. Curious to see how they fare against the Iran car. But seeing as how things went this week, whoever gets beaten will be done so off screen. He's right, you know. <laughs> it was nice to switch over to Byakuya after spending weeks with the zombies, but what the hell was up with him defeating three fucking Stern Ritters off screen? Two of which haven't even shown their abilities yet. I think they'll come back, but the fact that we have to see them beaten down pissed me off. And Pepe showing off his letter L for love was kind of familiar. His talks of his eyes on everyone and sending them his love, thus controlling them, reminds me of hmm, some other villain that can control others and face Byakuya. Ah, well, it's not important. My prediction for Pepe is that Byakuya is going to go Bankai and beat him. If the two face off, there's no doubt that Byakuya is going to beat him so easily. You lose that battle. You lose that battle 9 times out of 10. So I'll give this chapter a 7 out of 10. Zombie Captain showed up, Byakuya looks ready to fight off some love, but off-screen defeats were disappointing. For my question of the week, what is Mayuri's drug doing to Hitsugaya? Is it reverting him back to normal, or does he have some other effect he wants to see? Favorite comments always featured in the next review, here are last week's winners. <laughs> All right, guys, that does it for my 100th Bleach review. It's so hard to believe that I started out like this. What's up, everybody? This is Tenzin Gantu 59, and I wanted to start doing something different and begin doing weekly chapter reviews for Bleach. Oh, God, that was awful. I'm very grateful to all you viewers who have been watching me for these past 100. I do hope that you'll stick with me until the end. See you guys next week. Peace.